Today I'm going to address another viewer question. The viewer asked for closure on what I mean when I say the suffix, the end of a word means contract. And what that is is a simplification because everything comes down to contract or no contract. So these are suffixes that mean contract. It's by no means a comprehensive list. I'm sure I missed some, but these are most of the most used ones. And you will find when you parse these, if you look them up in an etymological dictionary, 99.9% .9 of them will start off saying that they are a word-forming element, or they will say it's a quality of, a condition of, a function of, belonging to, etc., etc., which all can be boiled down to contract. If you see these at the end of a word, it means they have a contract with that word, or, depending upon how it's used, the claimant using the word has a contract with that word. For example, knowledgeable. Knowledgeable, we have the A-B-L-E, at the end, which by the way is interchangeable with IBLE, it means that someone has a contract with the knowledge. They know something. Say, I know correct language, uh, correct sentence structure. I have a contract with it because I know it. I'm knowledgeable. I'm of the knowledge, with the knowledge, for the knowledge and by the knowledge. And then this word, vacation, I O N, which just means. You have a contract to vacate. I'm going on vacation and uh, I'm vacating the premises. It's, that's why they mean contract and it boils down to contract or no contract. And here's an example of three suffixes that mean no contract. Why do they mean no contract? Because they modify the root that they're attached to. These are not modifiers. These are quality conditions of the root. They have a contract with the root. They're working with the root. This modifies and changes it. So when you change a thing, it is no longer the thing. And therefore, it's no contract. ED is past tense. It robs us of the now time. Which is what our education system has done. It's so strongly programmed us that we have no grasp of the now time or how to claim it. Just an example of that, try to speak in only present tense, in only the now time, without using future tense words or past tense words. It's very hard. L-Y modifies a fact into an adjective. And then I-N-G forms gerund nouns, turns verbs into nouns. And nouns, as we know, N-O means no, U-N means no. So you have your no contract and your contract. I hope this has provided some closure for you. If you have any more questions, feel free to contact me in the private and the confidential at the email address listed in the description below the video. Thank you very much for watching.